Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about JE Advanced 2020 Paper 2 and in that we are going to talk about question number 15. Now, please pay attention, this is a numeric type question. So, we have to be very careful about calculations in this question and let's read it. The figure below is the plot of potential energy versus internuclear distance D of a hydrogen molecule in the electronic ground state. That means there is one atom H, there is another atom H and in ke beach ka jo centers ka jo distance hai, that is given to as D. Okay. What is the value of the net potential energy E naught at a distance D equal to D naught for which the electron electron repulsion and nucleus nucleus repulsion are absent. Okay. So he is saying calculate energy E equal to E naught, sorry, calculate E equal to E naught at D equal to D naught where repulsions are zero. Okay. Repulsions are zero. So in general, we know that what all two things exist in a molecule, guys, there is repulsion between like charges and there's attraction between opposite charges. So he's saying repulsions are to be considered as zero. So what do we consider? Therefore, we consider only attraction exists right only attraction exists and let's therefore calculate the energy of hydrogen atom in which the distance between them here is how much is total d naught and uh, we'll have to consider for ease of calculation that one electron is present here the another electron is present here okay so if we talk about one h atom Okay, what do we get for one H atom? The potential energy which comes from Coulomb's law, guys, will be equal to what? K Q1 Q2 by the Bohr radius, right? Because if we are talking about electron present in ground state, it essentially means that this radius is nothing but the first Bohr radius. Okay, so let's plug in the values. We know the value of K as 9 into 10 to power 9. Then the value of Q, that is, the electron, right? The charge of an electron, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. The another Q, that is the charge of a proton. Therefore, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 again. Upon what do we have? The Bohr radius, which we remember as 0 0.5 to 9 angstrom. So, 0 0.5 to 9 into 10 to the power minus 10. Now, using all this unit system, the answer will come in joules. Thick. So, how much does it come off to? This comes off to as minus 4.355 into 10 to power minus 21 kilojoules. Okay. Now, this is for one hydrogen atom, right? One hydrogen atom. We have to consider two hydrogen atoms. So, for two hydrogen atom, let's simply multiply it by two, right? So, our answer will be minus 4.355 into 10 to power minus 21 into 2 kilojoules but the question said find the answer in kilojoule per mole of H2 molecule so for per mole for one mole H2 molecule what will we have to do this is this we calculated for two H atoms right that is one H2 molecule we need one mole of H2 molecule so we multiply the above number I'm just rearranging it into Avogadro which is given in the question as 6.023 into 10 to power 23. Now finally the answer will be in kilojoule per mole. Okay, this will come out to us guys minus 5246.49 kilojoule per mole and because it's a numeric type question there is always some uh, range allowed for error but please try to be as accurate as you can. Thank you so much for joining us guys and stay tuned for our next question.